Apple cider vinegar. Is it good for you? Is it bad for you? Actually makes you lose weight? What are the results of adding apple cider vinegar to your daily diet? Hi there, I'm Dr. Corassa, a clinical nutritionist from Brazil that I have been living for 17 years on a raw food frugivore diet and I also not just preach but practice and study natural hygiene, the science of health. So I love the nutritional science to be able to show you how to get the best results with your own health. With a dream to influentiate the world to understand that health is produced by a healthful living. There's a lot of hype behind vinegar nowadays. So let's take a look at the science and in the end, stay there until the end so you understand my perspective. First of all, we must understand how is apple cider vinegar is made. First, the apples are crushed and exposed to a kind of yeast to ferment their sugars into alcohol. Next, they add bacteria to further ferment the alcohol into acetic acid, the main active compound in vinegar. So vinegar is really low in calories. So it's only three calories per teaspoon. So first of all, vinegar helps to control your weight. Yes, by turning on a mechanism that we call AMPK, adenosine monophosphate kinase. It's actually a metabolic sensor for the concentration of ATP in our blood. So we, when we have low levels of ATP, this repairing mechanism is turned on, like in fasting, but also vinegar also turns on this mechanism, helping you to lose weight. When nutrients are low, AMPK is turned on to burn body fat. That's why vinegar helps to burn body fat. So second part, helps to reduce triglycerides and helps to improve your arterial health, upregulating the synthesis of nitric oxide in our endothelial, inside of our arteries also helping to remove free radicals and reducing LDL, the bad cholesterol. Third, helps your diabetes. Yes, vinegar act actually helps to regulate blood sugar levels. So there's research suggesting that vinegar helps to control your blood sugar and insulinemia, the insulin in your blood. There's a lot of studies in humans that shows that vinegar can actually help to reduce the blood sugar and insulin after the meal, what we call postprandial glucose and insulin. Fourth benefit, vinegar can help to kill pathogens, including bacteria. People have traditionally used vinegar for cleaning and disinfecting. Everybody knows that, everybody uses it in their own home. But also vinegar is also a food preservative. How do we do canned food. How do we preserve vegetables? We do pickled cucumbers, for example, with vinegar. Fifth benefit, vinegar is excellent for salad dressings. And a detail that I must add, not any kind of vinegar, but a raw apple cider vinegar, because these, this common vinegar sold in the supermarket actually has a lot of petrochemicals added to it, and when it comes in a plastic bottle, there will always be microplastic and leaching of dioxins into the vinegar itself. So avoid these common supermarket vinegars and use only if you're using for food, for, if you're using to ingest it, use only raw apple cider vinegar. The sixth benefit, it can help polycystic ovary syndrome. It's a disease that actually haunts a lot of women out there. Vinegar, according to the science, can help to, with only one daily tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, can restore ovarian function. Within a few months, in four out of the seven women in this small study. And also, inhibition of intestinal inflammation. The research was done in rats, but still, vinegar can reduce inflammation. 
Do you want to know more about the science of health? How can you improve your health and vitality to the next level? Something that nobody talks around there. So I suggest you to read Hygienic Fasting Nature Surgery. My main book on fasting is the most updated information you can get on fasting. It's actually av available to you right now on Amazon. Print on demand to be delivered to your home or you can buy on Kindle as well. There's also other nine books that I have published and they are being translated to English as you watch this video. And also I attend patients online and in private sessions. I run retreats every January and July in Brazil. The next one will be also the Brazilian Fruit Festival and I have online courses that will be soon published in English as well. After going through the research suggesting that vinegar has a lot of benefits, us hygienists, we are against vinegar. Oh my God, Eduardo, you said good things about vinegar and now you say bad things about vinegar? Yes and no. Because in nutrition, it all depends on what you are comparing to. Vinegar comes from apples. So if I'm thinking of, for example, having more health, I would eat apples instead of vinegar. I would eat grapes instead of wine. But for sure, in terms of nutrients, even when it's processing the apple or the grapes, you still have a few nutrients in there. So that's why the vinegar can actually have health benefits because it's still a rotten apple, but it's still an apple. So you have lost a lot of the benefits? Yes. All kinds of processing, as we know, causes loss of nutrients. So these phytonutrients, these vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants are labile, as we call in science. Photolabile, thermolabile, and oxygen labile. So they're, the labile means really sensitive. So cutting, processing, fermenting, it causes loss of nutrients. But it's still, there are a few nutrients that resist and stays over there, even though you're processing or cooking the food. So that's why apple cider vinegar still provides a lot of benefits. But I would like to see a study comparing eating a lot of apples and comparing using a lot of apple cider vinegar. Why? Because apple cider vinegar can be seen in labs with those schools and those crossed bones because it can actually corrode to eat into. For example, if you throw in a bowl of plastic, vinegar will melt the plastic, it will corrode the plastic. So what can actually vinegar do inside of you? So I'm not a proponent of vinegar, but for sure, I already tried some raw pickle, ve pickle vegetables for my YouTube channel in Portuguese, and it tastes awesome. It looks awesome. It preserves the vegetables. So Maybe here and there, if you want to use a little bit in a salad dressing or in something like that, and you are not focusing on being fully raw, hygienic, you know, like if you're flexible, I don't see an issue with using a little bit of raw apple cider vinegar. But to use frequently and to use the store-bought ones, the normal ones with a lot of preservatives, is not good. So understand that the best diet would not include vinegar but apples fruits that will have the same benefits actually better benefits but if you don't have the perfect diet and you're trying to include a little bit more fruits in your diet even if it's rotten i wouldn't say no if you're still eating a lot of junk right so apple cider vinegar what are your thoughts and your comments on it post it below give it a thumbs up comment, share the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications, and click these videos to know more.